Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Monday, January 30th, 2023, 18 degrees at 8.52 a.m. And I'm your host, Bach Kamal. I'm a tired, anky, ornery, angry sinner. And I'm here with my brother, Prince, and co-star, Samuel. There's that Samuel. Oh, what a sweet boy he is. He is so sweet. There he is. Look at him. He came to see me. Did you sleep well and have pleasant dreams, little man? Did you? I hope you did. Did you have a good adventure when you went outside this morning? Oh, boy, we got city chickens flying around doing their acrobatic ballet. Bobby Sullivan was just here. He's been breaking balls most of the wee hours of the morning and since we've got up. You gonna come here, Sam? Sully? Sam's here. Working on our first cup of coffee this morning. And it's not too bad. Some Sumatran going down. City chickens are on the wire. They were on the wire. Look at them go. Look at that. Oh, boy. What are you thinking, Sammy? Oh, where do we begin on this beautiful Monday morning? Where do we begin, sweetheart? I guess we'll start with an old standard and an old standby and something where you can't go wrong with a type A male. Liz Hurley's jubblies are 57 years, 234 days, two hours and 14 minutes old. <clears throat> and that is if that's original equipment there. Liz posted another picture of her jubblies, I mean of her modeling of one of her bikini tops from her line. It was a white one with gold trim. To be quite frank, unless it's a one piece, the bikinis all look the same to me. They're just a different color, but maybe my focus isn't where it should be when I'm looking at her fashion. But anyway, Sammy's on the move. I got a bit of a sore throat yet. Some kind of sinus infection going on. Oh, yeah. Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? Well, we're back again. This time, Sully's with me. He's got the plum spot. City chickens are still out there performing their aeronautical ballet. They're not quite sure what they want to do. They're splitting up and flying one way and splitting up and flying another and then rejoining. And we're here to show it to you live. Well, almost. Almost live. Someday we might do a live broadcast on the Mike Show. Oh, there's a city chicken on the roof over there. What's that one up to? I think they're pretty leery of going out there and feeding. I think Mr. Hawk or Mr. Falcon might be out there. Oh, yeah. So anyway... Should we do a recap from yesterday? We got some bread conjured. We conjured a couple loaves of bread. Met our old friend Wayne, a former co-worker, and he's a friend, not a former friend, at JJ's, and he bought me lunch. And we had a good time, caught up on things, and uh, took a cruise out the nature trail. Had a good time. Looking forward to doing that kind of stuff again. Yeah. I came home, hung out with the cats. And I can't quite remember anything we did after that. I know we pro I did a crossword puzzle. We probably watched YouTube's on vi We watched YouTube's on video. That's right. We do everything backwards. We watched videos on YouTube. Try watching YouTube's on video sometimes. It's pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. Look at those city chickens go. 
Oh, we watched a movie called Berlin Express. Another old war, war, 1940s World War II type movie. I've just been into that stuff. The cold and the gray and the wind and the snow and the grim gray darkness upon us just reminds us of those times of the 1930s and 1940s. And there's so many documentaries and movies and television shows out there. And when it comes right down to it, we haven't changed much. We're just a little more civil and discreet about the way we fuck each other over, but it's still happening. But I gotta tell you, in the modern era, the Third Reich, they had it down pretty good, and they are the gold standard for evil. There were others who, you know, killed more than they did, but they didn't look as sharp doing it, and the ruthlessness, it just, there aren't words to describe it. There are not words to describe it. And that evil is inside every one of us. Go look in the mirror and try and bullshit yourself. That it isn't, but it is. You never know what you could do or have to do when you're forced into an ugly situation. Welcome back, and I don't mean that in one little bit. Not one little bit at all. We got some chickadees flitting around out here on this maple tree. I think that's flitting. I think if you looked in the dictionary to see what flitting actually meant and then watched the behavior these chickadees are engaging in, it would be considered flitting. 47 city chickens on the wire, and most of them are over off to the left of the phone pole back there, the electric pole, the power pole, whatever you want to call it. And that's an unusual configuration. They're usually mostly lined up to the right of that pole where those three three are. We got two over here and one there. That tells me something's going on out there as far as the city chickens worrying about being prey for some predator. Uh-oh, Sully's back. What do you got to say about that, Sully? What do you think of Bobby? Bobby Sullivan. Yeah, that's that Bobby. That's Bobby. Oh, you're a good boy. I know you don't like to be, but you are. You are who you are, hey? Bobby Sullivan. B-A-B-Y Bobby. Yeah. You know, I got some big news. Real big. Yesterday, when I was at lunch at JJ's, I ate potato chips for the first time in like three months. Since I quit working at the grocery store, I've got... I, I'm not around that crap every day, so I don't buy it and haven't been buying it. I mean, let's face it, when you're around it and you're standing at a checkout line and watching people come through with, you know, carts full of it, by the end of the day, man, it's like, you know, them chips look good. I'm going to get some of them. And Anyway, I'm not around that, so I don't do it. But yesterday I did have some potato chips with a grilled cheese sandwich and pretty yummy. But I'm not going to get into the habit of making them all the time or eating them all the time because... I'm trying to get rid of this big tank I got on me. I must weigh about 312 pounds right now. And I can't have it. I'm trying to maintain some kind of uh, some kind of tone here. And I'm holding my own, but I don't seem to be making any progress. Uh-oh, what do we got there? I haven't seen one of them little guys feeding in a while. I don't even know what kind of birds them are. Them short little stubby ones. They eat anything. If you sat out in the yard long enough, they'd come and start picking on you. Oh, yeah. So anyway. Yeah, I'm thinking there's got to be a hawk or a falcon or maybe both out there somewhere, the way these city chickens are acting. And with that, we're going to take another break. Well, we're back for our closing segment. I couldn't be any duller if I tried. We got some ducks out feeding. 
Two pair of mallards. City chickens have just been flying back and forth, but not landing. And I noticed we had deer in the area last night. There's tracks all over the yard. So there was venison on the hoof. Oh, look at here comes Mackie. Mikey came down to see us, but he went back upstairs and he's up there with Princess Elsie. Today, we're going to conjure up some soup and probably some of our famous beef that we haven't made in a while, our seasoned beef. Some onions and jalapenos, tomato paste, chili powder, cumin, and I forget what else we put in there. Probably some garlic. Oh, Mickey. Oh, we got another carafe of coffee going over there. This is 8 o'clock coffee this time, just about the last of what we had. And I don't really have any taste buds today. I wish I'd get over this cold or whatever the hell it is. Hey, Mackie. Yeah, here comes Ed Sullivan again. It's been a pretty dull Monday morning Mike show. I couldn't be duller and more boring if I tried. So I think that's about all we got. And, uh... Won't be surprised if I don't even leave the house today. We still need to get that door handle for that storm door over there. <laughs> but as that goes, we need to get a handle for the inside door, too. It's only been about six years. But hey, who's in a hurry to do anything? Right, Sully? You gonna come and steal the plumb spot from Mackie? Oh, you guys getting along? You gonna get along? All right, that's all we got. So, from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul, piss off, happy Monday, and thanks for not tuning in.